McDill Air Force Base just announcing today groundbreaking on a new training university. It comes in light of some not so good news for the military just that they received just about a little while ago this week. In fact, about big budget cuts. Rob Munoz was there at McDill and joins us live now with more. Rob. Yeah, McDill says this is where they're going to be training the future of our military. And above that, they say this will bring construction jobs to the area. Of course, this is welcome news in spite of some of the bad news this week that the military has been receiving. Now, what they're building is an all-new main campus for what's called Joint Special Operations University. Now, think of it as a college for military members, except here is where they learn how to cooperate between the different branches like Army, Navy, Marines, and the Coast Guard. Now, the new campus will have 10 classrooms, a research library, and more. But what about the most recent cuts that Defense Secretary Chuck Hale just announced? Now, I asked that same question, and Mayor Bob Buckhorn, who was out here, told me this new campus is approved under last year's budget, so the cuts will not affect this construction. The key for McDill's future is Central Command, Special Operations Command, and the growth of those two commands. Some of the rank and file folks will be affected. Obviously, we're not in two wars now. That's to be expected. But the main investment here is secure. Now, McDill did do the groundbreaking today. They're telling me they expect this to be done by fall of next year. At McDill Air Force Base, I'm Rob Munoz, ABC Action News.